the first question tonight is what, in your opinion, is the top issue the city of Hayden faces and how would you resolve it if elected to mayor? Luke, we're going to start with you. The top issue that Hayden is facing right now is the growth that is taking place and that the growth that we've experienced here is partly a result of what they've done with the comprehensive plan, the future land use map, and um, all the plans that the city has come up with. I would seek to revise that and revisit the issue. And um, having been trained as a parliamentarian, having studied the law a bit, I think I'm well equipped to do that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, next, Alan Davis will have a chance to respond to that question. And the question is, what, in your opinion, is the top issue the city of Hayden faces and how would you resolve it if elected to mayor? Thank you for the question. Uh, I'm going to use some notes here because uh, I am also going to talk about density and growth. And frankly, I could probably talk to you guys for an hour about that and bore you. So to stay on point, uh, of course, growth and density are important. They've ranked as the number one thing in citizen surveys for years. Um, and in response to that, our city has uh, significantly slowed down uh, development. Uh, all we have to do is look across the, the prairie to see all the development going on, and it's not happening at the same pace in Hayden. But uh, affordable housing has become a myth in Hayden, um, and our kids can't afford to live here uh, unless they're living at home. Uh, this month's housing and availability report confirms what we all know uh, or not. Hayden is the number two state people are relocating to and the number two state where housing values have gone up so much. Uh, families are uh, paying out 30% or more for rent around here. And because Hayden's not affordable, uh, we feed into that traffic problem we have. If you don't live here, but you work here, you got to come and go to work. And that's causing us problems and costing us tax dollars. Um, I'll tell you, Hayden, what Hayden doesn't need is vague promises that a candidate can slow growth or control growth. Uh, if, if that's the case, they have a poor grasp of their influence. What we need are solutions. Uh, so here's mine. Within 90 days of getting elected, I'm going to sit down. Well, I'm going to invite, obviously, politely, all of our developers and city council to sit face to face and work out solutions to uh, help make our growth responsible. I will invite the public to see this so that we remain completely transparent. City staff has provided us solutions that we have yet to realize. An example of that is cottage housing, where we put up four smaller houses in a common courtyard. There's green space, it's beautiful, it can happen. Um, and that's the end of my answer. Okay, thanks, Alan. Uh, the second question for you 